Hello, forum members, subscribers, YouTubers, everyone. Um, I'm here with a uh, review that is kind of two parts, not really. Um, on the Icon Vape uh, high voltage slash low resistance um, 2.5 ohm mini 801 uh, atomizer. Um, and I just want to say I've always used 510 devices. Um, my first e-cig was uh, a Volcano Magma, which is a 510 clone, and my second one was uh, an Inferno, uh, which is an Ego clone, um, and now my Proveri. I have never used, um, well, until like a few days ago, um, have never used 801 um, atomizers um, or 901s. I still haven't used 901s. Um, so this video is really uh, me coming from always, always, always using um, 510 Cardos and atomizers, um, uh, you know, and, and tanks uh, for a very short period of time. Um, kind of, uh, you know, just, just getting into trying some new things. So if you already use an 801, this may or may not be helpful for you. Um, but I will, um, say the first thing I want to say, um, is, and remark on, is the size of this atomizer compared to some, um, other ones. One second. Um, if you saw my video on my other account, I'm a big fan of the Icon Vape, um, Canon, um, series of atomizers. Um, which are kind of a mashup between 510s and um, 801s. Um, so here is normal Joy um, 510 atomizer, uh, and here is the Canon Stealth. Bear with me. Um, I also picked up an 801, I think SLB, um, from Clouds of Vapor, uh, here is the 801, again, if, you know, if you've never used an 801 before, here's the 801 compared to a 510. So, I, I use, uh, you know, mega size cartomizers a lot, so it wasn't really a big deal to me. Um, and again, this is not the atomizer in question. Um, here is the Icon Vape, uh, high voltage slash low resistance, again, 2.5 ohm. Uh, mini 801. It has an adapter on the bottom. Uh, you know, it's already on there, so trying to level them off. So there's a really big size difference, and that's pretty cool. I mean, it's it's pretty cool that um, it's so small compared to the full-sized 801. Um, you know, that that's pretty much what I have to say about that. It is um, like all of his stuff. Um, branded on the side. I know that is backwards to you. Excuse me, I know that it's backwards to you, um, and you may not even be able to see it very well, um, but it does say IKV 2.5 ohms, um, and I do really like um, that they're uh, branded, um, and that they have the ohm rating on it. I happen to have a Provery, which will tell me the ohms, and I, I know ohm readers exist, but if you don't have one, um, you won't mix up your atomizers. Um, so that's little, but nice. Um, so, uh, because I, I've always been very happy with the stuff that I've gotten from Icon Vape, um, I picked up two adapters, 510 battery to 801, um, atomizers, and, um, it works, it works great. Um, again, never use another adapter, but from all that I had read about the 801, and the differences between the 801 and the 510, the um, freer airflow um, being one of the, the biggest differences. Um, it, it, that's, how, that's how it works. So, you know, I can't really stack this up um, to other adapters. Um, I'm sure not all adapters are created equal, much like all atomizers are not. Um, but all I can tell you coming from 510 atomizers, Cardos, again, um, is that there's a huge difference, um, with this, and I'm sure if the adapter were, um, crap, that it would be a much less noticeable difference. Um, so, 
again, this is a 2.5 ohm atomizer. I am using this at 3.7 volts right now. Let me just show you how it vapes. So really nice amount of vapor, um, and the flavor is great. The flavor is really good. Um, I think the flavor, for me personally, is comparable to uh, to that of a 510. Um, I've heard that 901s are unparalleled for uh, you know best flavor. Again, still haven't tried one. Will eventually, um, but. It's really incredible um, how much freer flowing the air is um, on this atomizer uh, compared to a 510. Um, and again, some of you already are well aware of this. Um, so I, I know that I'm not necessarily shedding any uh, incredibly new light um, on this matter, and it's definitely not one I am particularly knowledgeable on. Um, but if you do normally use 510s, if you've ever thought about trying a different atomizer, um, I would strongly suggest um, picking up one of these um, in an adapter from Eichenbabe. Uh, it's a normal atomizer price. It's like $749, um, and the adapter was like 2 or 3 bucks. Um, so, you know, I'm not sure if there's a whole lot more I have to say about it. I do want to talk very briefly about um, the voltage uh capacity um, because I do have one little gripe. I'm using this at 3.7 volts and it works great at 3.7 volts and on I can vape um, it says it works at optimum levels at 5 volts and I personally have to disagree. Um, when I was pushing it past 4.5, 4.6 it started tasting really dry um, and a little burnt, uh, no matter how wet it was. Um, and to be perfectly fair, um, I am a big fruit, uh, I'm a really big fan of fruit vapes. Those aren't necessarily ones you'd be vaping at 5 volts, uh, 6 volts, um, or maybe you would, I don't know. I don't really like them at um, that high of a voltage. I have not tried this yet. Um, with some of my uh, more favorite tobacco um, vapes or like my heavy chocolate vapes um, and maybe that would be uh, slightly better. Um, you know the other very very slight gripe I have about this is I am a huge fan of um, Vape the Rockies Purify um, Flavor Eraser. Works great, you put in a few drops, you vape without inhaling and it cleans out your Addy um, but, you know, compared to a 510, um, it's going to take a lot, 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 lot more to, um, get the flavor out, if you're doing it that way. Obviously, you can clean it in some alcohol, some vodka, however you like cleaning your Addies. Um, I have already cleaned it in vodka, works, you know, worked great, got all the flavor out. Um, but that's part of the reason I haven't really um, been switching it up too much because I don't want to have to clean it out uh, nightly. So I haven't switched the flavors too much. And um, I can absolutely, will absolutely um, post a follow up to this once I've been able to, um, once I clean it, once I can use it with some stuff that I would normally vape at higher voltages. Um, so that's pretty much what I have to say right now. I mean, I am very happy with how it performs. Um, at 3.7 volts, again, the the, um, the flavor is great, the the airflow is really uh, nice when you compare it to a 510. There isn't necessarily one I prefer, um, you know, I'm so used to the 510, um, but this is, you know, awesome in its own right, and um, I'm getting a really good throat hit at 3.7 volts. So, you know, for right now, especially with, you know, pomegranate lemonade, um, I have no reason to be uh, vaping it much higher than this. You may, um, and again, I will give it a spin uh, with some Backwoods Brews or, or something, something that um, I normally vape at higher voltages and report back. Um, but 
that is what I have to say about these two little pieces of equipment. Um, to the best of my understanding, this adapter is working really well. Um, and I've also used, you know, this quite a bit, my 801 from Clouds of Vapor. Um, and the small size of, of this, you know, mini is, is nice. It's nice not to have, like, this huge honking thing hanging off of my, um, you know, my PV. Um, so, I hope you found this helpful. Um, I know it wasn't necessarily the most articulate, um, and again, it's not an area I have a super lot of expertise um, in, you know, for sure. Um, but if you're a 510 user, if you've ever thought about, um, you know, trying out an 801 or, or a 901 or whatever, um, I am a big, big, big fan of Icon Vape. I mean, I have never gotten a bad thing um, from... Uh, him. So go check it out. Link in the description. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be back soon. Bye.